Hey guys, it's Ernie. Welcome back. And today what I'm going to be doing is taking uh, photographs or bitmap uh, pictures, um, pretty much a JPEG, anything that uh, needs to be converted to production art that can be used uh, for either screen printing or embroidery or any type of other uh, production type of work. Um, usually a vector file can be rescaled at any size and it will not lose its quality uh, just like it would a uh, Photoshop file or a JPEG. So uh, vector files are pretty popular. It's uh, actually the uh, industry standard for logo design. So if you've ever gotten a logo before, make sure you get a vector file because otherwise you have a lot of problems down the road when you try to print. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of this fun stuff that I've been doing. Uh, it's pretty easy work. Um, so it, fairly quickly. Uh, these conversions were made um, for a catalog so there's a lot of very simple lines and stuff like that and I'll show you another one that's a little bit more complex so what exactly is a vector file and a bitmap a lot of people don't know what this is uh, and people get confused if they're they're not into the uh, into graphic design, print, or promotion. Um, pretty much the difference is uh, a bitmap is a Photoshop file that uses small little pixels to create a larger image. And in order for you to rescale that uh, particular uh, image or photograph, you have to add more pixels uh, to the file or to the photo. Uh, to make it larger. Um, in some cases the quality because you're, you're compensating in, in the size of the the file you're compensating by adding more pixels so you don't really get the sharpness that you really want um, so it's pretty much just adding more sand to the sandbox if you will. Uh, a vector image is more like a rubber band uh, kind of works the same way. You you create a an, a, a piece of graphic that kind of acts like a rubber band, and you're able to resize it, small or large, and it won't lose its uh, quality. Um, so when should you use a vector file, and when should you use a bitmap image? Um, if you're doing some sort of photography or any type of uh, photo printing, you want to use a um, a bitmap and if you're using uh, like one color imprints like on t-shirts or um, line drawing like like you see here you want to use vector files um, and vector files could be saved in many different formats PDF, um, SVG, uh, EPS, AI um. well guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and I'll put those uh, down below. And if you want to contact me, you can do that directly on my website at erniedesigns.com. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.